Oscar real estate has always been in high demand, but in the last year and a half, it is safe to say the market is on fire. That's the cover story of July's Austin Monthly Issue. Here to talk more about it is executive editor Madeline Hall. Good morning, Madeline. How are you today? Good morning. Nice to see you. Likewise. Uh, yeah, it's safe to say that the issue is so much more than Austin real estate. You break it down to the top 10 zip codes where uh, prices have climbed the most. Why was this the best way to approach the feature? Listen, so we do a real estate issue every July, and normally we're focusing on the hottest neighborhoods to buy. Well, everybody knows in the last year, Austin real estate has become insane. Like, there's no other word for it. So this year, we wanted to take a different approach and look more into, like, the history of real estate and the design of real estate in Austin. Do it a little bit differently, because the truth is, the hot neighborhood to buy is literally any neighborhood you can find a house in. Um, so, so what are the uh, some of those zip codes, if you could name? I mean, we don't have to go through all, all 10 of them, um, and they are in the issue if our viewers um, want to go ahead and read it, whether it's online or the print version. But which would you say are probably the two that stand out the most to you? So some of our top ones are Cedar Creek, uh, Johnson City. People are kind of going to the outskirts of the city. Uh, Westlake Hills is still booming. Mm -hmm. Terrytown is hot. And also Smithville, which I know Smithville from, you know, Hope Floats. It's just like a small town outside of Austin. But all these outlying areas are really booming right now. Uh, what about work from home compatibility? How did that factor into it? Sure. So the pandemic has changed the way that we live and work. Uh, so we featured a company called Backyard Pod, which actually builds structures in your backyard. What's great is they don't even need a permit. They're like 150 to 200 square feet. Um, and some clients have even said that it saved their marriages, saved their mental health. So this is a really great thing for you to get if you want to still work from home, but maybe you don't want to work from your kitchen or from your bed. Yeah, and as you said, you know, saved relationships. You need that space. You can't all be in 800 feet of, of workspace. I, I can understand that. Um, you, you know, finally, before we talk a little bit about uh, the July to-do list, city design lineage, you looked at classic home styles that define neighborhoods. Yeah, so we really went more of a design approach. Like you might notice there's tons of mid-century modern homes all throughout Westlake, but why? Well, it turns out I talked to a bunch of architecture firms and there was an uh, architect named A.D. Stanger who this was his classic style and he had a lot of stake in that area. So he ended up building a lot of homes there. I also found out in researching this article that Hyde Park was actually the very first suburb in Austin, Texas, which seems insane because, you know, it's so close to downtown. Right, and uh, very close to the university over there. Wow, um, it, what a fun article to research. Uh, finally, it is July 2nd. You guys always uh, help us uh, line up our to-do list for the month and beyond. What do you have for July? Well, one thing you have to do is go to an Austin FC game this month. Uh, they just scored their first goals at home yesterday, and they won the game. So definitely check out an Austin FC game. Also, the new Van Gogh exhibit at Circuit of the Americas is mind-boggling. It's incredibly beautiful. It's an immersive experience. It really brings all of his paintings to life. So definitely check that out. Uh, so much to do. It's all, I mean, and it's all great. Uh, uh, on the 8th, Come Together Beatles Redux, Little Shop of Horrors, Austin Taco, and Margarita Festival happening July 24th, Glow in the Park on July 29th. All of this is in the latest issue of Austin Monthly Magazine, austinmonthly.com, or pick it up. We have it on our, on our coffee table always. Hey, don't, miss, don't miss an article. We love it at home. Uh, Madeline, thank you so much. It's always good talking to you. Have a happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Take care.